DreAllDay.com. I should say work on your game.com, but I'm always say DreAllDay.com. Topic of this video is measuring your work, having an objective measure for your work, what you're doing, where you're going, so that you know when you are actually making progress or when you actually are not making progress. This is a, a very simple concept. It's almost so simple that when I think about something like this, I might think to myself, you know what, I don't even need to make a video about this because everybody already knows this. But my experience tells me that most people actually do not do this. Now, it's the difference between knowing, quote unquote, knowing something and actually doing it. Because a lot of people say that they know things, but then when you look at their actions or you kind of dig deeper into what they have going on, they're not actually doing the stuff that they know. So all of you understand that you are much more likely and it becomes easier to achieve a goal when you are measuring the process. You're measuring the progress of what you're doing. Like, am I getting better at this? Am I getting worse? Let's take, for example, uh, if you're running a business and you want to make more money in your business this year than you made last year. You know that you probably have a better chance of making more money if you actually measure the money, right? If you actually look at how much money did we make um, January, February, March, compare it to how much you made last January, last February, last March, or last quarter one, or you know, compare quarter to quarter, month by month, week by week, even day by day, that if you measure it, there's a much higher likelihood that you will make more money. Why? Because what you focus on, you create. All right, we all understand the concept in life that we create what we pay attention to. Whatever you pay attention to, you get more of. Most people agree with that, right? And whatever you ignore, usually it goes away and you get less of it. So if you're paying attention to the money, you'll make more money. If you're trying to lose weight, for example, you're trying to get in better physical shape. Whether you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to get stronger and lift heavier weights, whether you're a runner and you run marathons and you wanna get faster, if you pay more attention to your process and your progress or lack thereof, you're probably gonna get better at that thing. Now again, most people would say that they understand this and they agree with it. The question is not whether you understand and agree with it because it makes enough sense that most people, you know, logical people will go with it. The question is, are you doing it? Look at, looking at your life and the things that you wanna get better at, here's the question. Are you measuring those areas and measuring your progress or again, lack of progress. Do you know, if you wanna make more money this year, do you know where you were at this point last year as compared to this point this year? Do you know how much you made last month and what you're on track to make this month as compared to this time last year in the exact same month? Do you know? If you're on a fitness journey, can you compare what you're doing fitness-wise right now with what you were doing fitness-wise last quarter or last year? Are you measuring these things? Now, let me tell you why people don't measure, because most people don't measure. Most of you who's watching this video, if, it's, if 10 people watch this video, I know on, just based on my experience, eight out of 10 people are not measuring the things that they say are, they're serious about in their life. Not that you're not doing them, you're going to work every day, or you're going to the gym all the time, or you're doing things that you at least believe are gonna help you make money, but you're not measuring. Eight out of 10 people are not doing this. And I'm probably being generous. It's usually nine out of 10. And I wouldn't be wrong to even guess 10 out of 10. I'll probably be right most of the time, depending on which 10 people we pick. Here's the point. And the reason why people don't measure. One reason that people don't measure is because they don't want to find out the truth about what's really going on. It's much easier for us to accept a lie that we tell ourselves that, oh, I'm getting better at this. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm improving in this area. It's much easier for us to lie to ourselves and say that than it is to look at the objective data and find out what's really going on, at which point we might realize, damn, maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. Maybe you think you are uh, doing better and making more money, but then when you look at the actual numbers, you're like, damn, I'm actually doing about the same, or maybe I'm doing worse, or I'm not doing nearly as well as I thought I was. Or when it comes to any goal, any outcome that you're trying to get to, you may realize that you're not doing so well when you actually look at the numbers. And another reason people don't want to look at the numbers is because when you look at the numbers or the measurements, whatever the measurement may be, it may not, it usually is going to be something that involves numbers, something that's black and white and objective, right? Another reason that people don't want to do this is because when you start looking at the numbers, now you are accountable for what you know. 
See, the thing is, folks, a lot of times people would rather be ignorant of what's really going on in their own lives. And I'm talking about some of you right now. You'd rather be ignorant about what's really going on in your own life because if you know what's going on and you know for sure what's going on, like the actual facts of what's going on, now you're responsible for doing something about it. And many human beings simply do not want personal responsibility. And I'm talking about responsibility for your own life. This is like, for example, and all of us have been guilty of this at different times. Now, some people have are more afflicted than others, but all of us are guilty of this. Has any of you ever been or known somebody who had a toothache and their teeth were bothering them and you could, maybe it felt just a little slight at the beginning, then it started to get worse and worse and worse. And then it got so bad that you finally had to go to the dentist and you did something about it. Key word, you had to go to the dentist or key phrase, you had to go to the dentist because it got so bad that you couldn't ignore it anymore. Why didn't you do something when you first found out about it? When you first noticed that there was something up with your teeth, why didn't you do anything? Because human beings are, by nature, we are lazy. We are wired to conserve energy. This goes back to the caveman days. We need to save energy to run away from the saber-toothed tiger or to fight the rival caveman. And we are natural procrastinators. We would rather wait until we have to do something rather than move just because we decided to do something. This is just human nature. Again, doesn't mean you're, doesn't mean you're a bad person if I'm talking about you right now. I know I'm talking about some of you. How many of you has ever had a medical situation? Not, not the dentist, but something from, let's say, from the neck down or something that didn't involve your teeth. And you knew it was something with your body that needed to be addressed. And you knew you couldn't fix it. And you tried whatever you could on your own, and that didn't solve the problem. And you're like, all right, I actually need to do something about this because uh, this is, a, this is a, a situation that I got to do something about. And you waited until you absolutely could not withstand it anymore. Then you finally went to the doctor or you went to some homeopathic help or whatever and you finally address the issue in some way shape or form all right all of us have been in this situation right of course why do we do this because when we know now we're responsible and people don't want to be responsible because when you're responsible now you had to do something and it connects to the point that i just made human beings we are naturally always looking to conserve energy and do less to not have responsibility because when you know something you're responsible for it and you have to do something but here's the downside of not taking on responsibility is that responsibility comes as a package deal with power. Anytime you want power, you got to take on responsibility. Anytime, anytime you take on responsibility, you get power. And most human beings want power. But I just told you, most human beings also don't take on responsibility. So this is why people are frustrated with themselves because there are things that you want to have control over and a dominion over. You want to be able to influence in your life, but you can't because you don't have the power and the reason that you don't have the power is because you don't want to take responsibility the reason you don't take responsibility is because when you take responsibility now you are responsible and you are accountable for doing something about the thing that you're supposed to be you know, in control of whatever it happens to be so you see how this all kind of works in a cycle it all works together and the good news is as much as it works in a, a negative cycle, it works in a positive cycle as well. And it works by the exact same principles. So as soon as you decide to take ownership and responsibility for something, now you have the power to do something about it. You are defeating your natural instinct to procrastinate and delay and do nothing and conserve energy. And you're actually doing the opposite of what most human beings are wired to do. And you're doing something rather than doing nothing. This is the key right here. If you could just move yourself to do this, do something rather than do nothing, you're going to start to have a whole lot more power. You will have a whole lot more uh, influence in your life and you'll be able to get a lot more things done just because you're going against your human nature. Nature wants you to just do nothing. All right. So what I'm encouraging you to do is something, whatever that something may be, that thing you need to deal with. And it starts with you getting clear on where exactly you're at. You got to know where you're really at. If you don't know where you're really at in life, you could tell yourself lies forever. Like, oh, I'm doing good. I'm in, I'm in good, a good space. I don't need to address that thing over there. I'm fine. I can just keep doing what I'm doing it and I'll be good. But if you don't address it, then it's always going to be an issue and it's going to continue to be a bigger and bigger issue until it's so big of an issue that you can't ignore it anymore. And then you're forced to do something. And then at that point, you will do something because you don't have a choice. But the thing is, here's the thing, folks. If you wait until you're forced to do something about a circumstance, now you're just like every other human on the planet because this is what most human beings do. They wait until circumstances force them to do something, then they do something. 
you don't want to be like most people, right? Because most people by definition are average. And if you ask most people, do you want to be average? Most people will say, no, I want to be average. I'm above average. I'm, I'm better than most people. I want to be like everybody else. Most people would say that, but then again, look at your actions, look at your behaviors. When something gets put in front of you that you know needs to be addressed, do you address it or do you ignore it? So that's just something for you, some food for you to think on, some food for you to, to snack on. Let's put it that way through this video. But with all that said, I want you to text me. Tell me the best insight you got from this video. Here's my number, 305-384-6894. Once you text me, you'll be in my text community. And every morning when I send out my daily motivation text, which I send for free every day to everybody in my text community, you'll get that message. And you'll be able to text with me because I do actually respond to text messages. And secondly, work on your game, university.com ready to take the next step with me that's where i have my only program if you want to work with me there's only one way to do it that's at work on your game university.com you can see everything that you need to get started and get working with me right there at that website again the link is down below in the description my number to my text community is also down below in the description to this video wherever you happen to be consuming work on your game dre all